Asia is more than just China, Japan, Korea. Your uneducated code. Code. Call me Ling Ling again, and you will be missing a limb. Don't try me. Stop fetishizing Asian girls because they're exotic. Reverse racism ain't real, ho. Mixed Asians are valid and important. Onigashimas and welcome to another video. Hey, was that just? Cultural appropriation right there in your intro Chris. You're damn right it was. Oh no, what are you gonna do about it, huh? Well, I know what YouTube is gonna do about it. They're gonna demonetize my video again Yay, like they always do. Thank you so much YouTube. You're making this whole thing not uh, Possible for me because now I can't pay my rent. Yay. Uh, in the last video, a couple of you guys, actually a lot of you guys, wrote that I should make a Patreon account. I've always been against that. I never wanted to ask you guys for money. I always thought that was wrong, or I don't know, wrong. I, I just didn't want to do that, okay? I wanted to be able to fund myself, I guess. Um, but as you guys know, I do many of these Social Justice Saturday videos. In this case, I guess it's Social Justice Sunday. Um, and YouTube, they just don't like these videos. The algorithm don't like these videos. And I don't know if I'm stupid for continuing making these videos because I know, I mean, my channel has taken a serious hit after I've continued making these videos because, you know, we talk about racism, we, we talk about controversial things in these videos and YouTube don't like that, it seems. So I don't know if I'm stupid or I'm just stubborn because I'm like, I'm gonna make exactly the content I want to make regardless of some stupid algorithm, you know? And maybe that's stupid, I don't know. But anyways, in the last video, one of you guys said, I feel really bad for you, Chris. It's so shitty that you have to deal with the repercussions of Article 13. You should make a Patreon or something. So yeah, there's also the, the Article 13 thing that's... Um, probably gonna influence me in some way or another. You should really start your Patreon page, mate. Big thumbs up for your content. You should create a Patreon page. I'm sure many people would like to help. So I guess I kind of changed my mind on the subject. If there are some people out there, if any of you guys want to support this channel, either by one dollar a month or anything like that, I don't want to stop you from doing that. You get what I'm, I'm saying? Anyways, thank you guys for all your support. Also, if you're not gonna donate a dollar a month or whatever you want to donate, uh, just thank you for still being on the channel. Um, and of course, remember to like the video before you have seen the whole video and uh, subscribe if you're new because we're having a lot of fun here, okay? So let's begin the video. Asian Girls United. Sounds pretty harmless. Well, what if it was White males united, that would give a slightly different ring to it, wouldn't it? Uh, but anyways, it's Asian girls united, let's see. A Korean YouTuber educated herself about dreads, blah blah blah. Let me just explain to you this situation, okay? So this poor girl got box braids, it's, she's like a beauty channel, and she got a style of hair, and she received a lot of public backlash. For, for doing this certain style of hair. And why, you may ask? What's wrong with trying different hairstyles? Because box braids is a black hairstyle. That's only for black people. I'm not even kidding. That's what the whole cultural appropriation thing is about. She says she found out it was abuse of other cultures. Can you believe that? And this Instagram page and its community of course celebrates the fact that she removed the box braids from her hair and made an apology video. Do you know why Eminem went through so much racist bullshit in the beginning of his career and also later in his career? It was exactly because of cultural appropriation. People were like, oh no, rapping and hip-hop? That's a black domain. But you're white, Eminem. You can't enter that domain. Uh, you're stealing culture from the blacks. And it's so damn racist. <laughs> like, that's really... Eminem just loved uh, the whole culture about hip-hop and all that. It's not based on a skin color. It's so stupid. And the same with this hairstyle. Why does this hairstyle have to only be for black people? Isn't it inherently racist to say, uh, you are Asian? woman, so you may not do this hair. You cannot do this hair because you're Asian. 
I find that very racist. But that's just in my opinion, of course. Traditional wear is not an aesthetic. Traditional dresses worn on Lunar New Year's for any culture is not a fashion statement. These dresses are not meant to be sexualized and worn in such ways that completely deteriorates the cultural meaning and history of them. It's ugly. Stop. I mean, that's just like your opinion, man. <laughs> I mean, then, you, then don't wear traditional Asian clothing if you think it's ugly. Um, and if you think it deteriorates the cultural meaning and history. Just don't tell others what to wear. Because of Western media and colonization, some of y'all grew up with the mindset that all Asians look the same when we don't. Asia is fucking diverse. Like not all of us have slanted eyes and light skin Britney Brown Asians exist. And our names aren't Ling, Ping or Ting. Shut the fuck up. Jeez, man. Calm down. And also, you just can't really post that and then also post this. That's kind of hypocritical. White people, all Asians look alike. Also white people. <laughs> That's, I, I get it. I can see it from an Asian or like another racist perspective. White people, we do really look alike as well. I mean, practically everybody look alike. I've had comments as well like, oh, you and Frey, you look so much like each other. None of my friends think that me and Frey look like each other. So I'm like, yeah, we're both white. What else? Like, <laughs> um, So I, I totally get that. I totally get that. And I don't think that's because of colonization and the media being racist against Asians and all that. Not at all. What do you guys think? Leave your comments down below. When your collection is completely based on Chinese culture because you have no originality. The brand is De La Valle. It is owned by two white women, lol, and they have more on their website. So, I mean, it could be because they have no originality, but maybe it's because they like Chinese culture or Chinese style. I don't know these women, but maybe they have been living in China for some years. I, I mean, this is not... <laughs> How is this a bad thing? I mean, there's nothing wrong with taking inspiration of Asian culture. I don't think it, I don't think there is. Oh, this is the, the, the good old one. My culture is not your goddamn prom dress. This poor girl, I mean, we, we went through this, I mean, a year ago or something. She just went for an Asian inspired dress. Looked really cool. And because she appreciates Asian culture, she likes Asian culture. And she just got roasted for cultural appropriation. She's not allowed to wear that dress because she's white. Again, like how far are we taking this? Because I don't, how many Asians are not playing Mozart on the piano? Well, Mozart was a white guy. He was a part of Western culture. Is that cultural appropriation as well? Should, should Asians not be allowed to play Mozart and Bach and... That is so stupid, right? That's the hypocrisy. And also the hypocrisy I see of this, again, is pretty much the name of the Instagram page. Asian Girls United. Imagine, just imagine if it was white males united. The, the public outrage, you know, it'd be insane. By the way, I just found a page. White people united. Ah, only 17 followers. 100% white blood. That sounds unhealthy. European. Christian. For Europeans worldwide. Pro-race separation. Ugh. Pro-life. Ugh. Pro-pride for all races. Okay. I mean, that's good, isn't it? Love who you are. White people exist. White people have the right to exist. White people have the right to exist as white people. Be white. <laughs> oh, man. This reminds me of uh, those girls from Orange is the New Black. White lives matter, too. It's so dumb. It's so stupid. I mean, I think this page is stupid as well. Like, white people united. And I think an Asian Girls United is stupid as well. It's people thinking as a part of an identity group, like a tribe. 
instead of thinking as individuals. And that's exactly what causes tribalism and making the world more divided, essentially. It's like, oh, what's the best way of fighting racism against Asians? Ha! Huh. Let's make an Instagram page only for Asian girls roasting white people. Ah, let's fight fire, fire. With, with fire. fire. Creepy men who think having an Asian fetish is just a preference are, honest, are honestly so tiring. And one day I hope that katana they keep in their closet or wherever magically flies at them and chops their dick off. Imagine being a white male and having a preference for Asian girls. And actually, like, just finding Asian girls extremely beautiful. <laughs> and this is what they get back. I mean, what's wrong with liking Asian, Asian girls? Wouldn't that be good for Asian? I don't get this. It doesn't have to be a fetish. There's a difference between a preference and a fetish. So, I mean, that's just my two cents of the matter. So, yeah, guys, this was it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If the Patreon is up by now... In the description down below, you can consider um, donating whatever you want. Maybe I can afford a better camera. I've had this camera since I started and I'm getting kind of tired of it. Uh, it's, the quality is not very good. It's a beginner camera anyways. Uh, so it's pretty much to up the, the production quality. I'm not just going to take the money and buy Star Wars uh, merchandise. Uh, um, remember to like if you like the video. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And domo arigato gozaimasta.